Are you getting enough fiber? <gasps> not that kind of fiber. Robin Gallery shows that it's not just for breakfast anymore. The name of this show is Fabulous Fibers. This is a bit of a first for the Robin Gallery. They've never had a strictly fiber arts show. We ended up with works by 10 different artists. The exhibit was included this spring when Robinsdale School District student art show bowed out again for the second year. Local fiber artists really stepped up to the plate. To bring lots of medium together, it's pretty exciting. The scope and variety that fall into the fiber arts category is fascinating. We do have doll making, we have weaving and felting, quilting, and also tie-dye, um, all kinds of fiber medium that uh, just has come together. A really incredible mix of things. For this show, Jean Johnson isn't just the gallery director. I started sewing when I was nine. She's a featured artist. And I've been a quilter for about 35 years now. I love the geometry of it, but more and more as I've gotten to be a little more experienced, uh, the color choices, the blending of tones, things like that within the project, that to me is artistic. That's my art. The talent on display is not to be missed. From Robbinsdale, Neil Persley, CCX News. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.